So hi everyone and welcome to this video on uh, integration by substitution as one of the methods by which we can evaluate using uh, integration. So uh, we'll discuss what integration by substitution is first, then we'll go straight to three examples to better elaborate on it. So say we have some function g of x. So say if u is equal to g of x and g of x is a differentiable function uh, whose range is in an interval i and in that range that function g of x is continuous then uh, we can say that the, the integral of that can take this form there and if u is equal to g of x then the derivative of u is just the derivative of that function g of x which is g prime x dx okay and how we integrate by substitution, okay, starts with, uh, has five steps in general. The first of which is we let some, uh, some element be u, which is equal to g of x, where g of x is some part of the integrand or the inside function, and is usually uh, the inside function of the composite function that we have. So we typically use this method of integration by substitution when the function is a bit more complicated than ones that can just be evaluated readily. After which, we find the derivative of that function and append dx. Next, we use the substitution u g of x and this du g prime x dx to be able to convert the entire integral, which was complicated before, into one that just involves u. And essentially, we're going to evaluate the integral with respect to u. Once we evaluate the integral with respect to u, we're just going to plug everything back as a solution and to get the final solution as a function of x, which is our main variable of concern. So let's go straight to an example. So say we have, uh, we have three examples here. Let's go to one. Say we have integral of x squared plus 1 raised to 5 times 2x dx. Okay, so it's a bit more complicated than the other integrals that we've been dealing with. So for this case, let u be equal to x squared plus 1. Notice that it's the inner function of the composite function that we have. Okay, and if u is equal to x squared plus 1, then you'll find that du is equal to the derivative of this function there. So that's going to be 2x. Then we append dx. Okay. And if we substitute that into the integral, okay, what we're going to get is integral, okay, u, 5, okay. And then, remember, uh, du is equal to 2x dx. That's the same here. So that's going to be du, right? And if we're going to integrate now with respect to u, so that's just going to be equal to u6 over 6 plus c, okay? Then after that, we can just plug in the values we know. So we know that u is equal to x squared plus 1. So the answer to this is going to be um, x squared plus 1 raised to 6 all over 6 plus c. So that's the answer to this one. Okay, so uh, I think it's pretty straightforward as you can see. So let's go to the second one. So we have a fraction in this case. Okay, so, so we let, uh, say we let u be equal to the denominator. So you can have it either way. So let's try this one, x cubed plus 2x, okay? And if we get du, so the derivative of that would be 3x squared plus 2, okay? dx, again, append dx. And what you'll find is that, okay, we're going to plug it in now to the integral. So integral of, so you have there u, okay? You have, uh, sorry, du rather. So notice... The numerator is exactly the same as du there, okay, du, and notice that dx is technically, it's part of the numerator, so you can append it to that, over u, okay, and if you get that integral, as you know by our properties of integral, okay, we can isolate this out, so we can just transform this into 1 over u du, that's the same thing, then we can determine that uh, this is just going to be of ln of u, right, ln of u, so the integral will be equal to ln of u plus c, but we already know what u is, so that's ln of x cubed plus 2x plus c, 
So this is the answer to that integral there. So now we have an example which is a definite integral and we're gonna try to solve that example right, by uh, integration by substitution. So let's go. So let, uh, in this case, let u be equal to x minus four. Okay, let u be equal to x minus, so that's the denominator. And I want you to note that using this form here, you can note that x is equal to u plus four. So if we isolate out x on one side and we transpose four to the other, we'll get that form there. And uh, du, okay, the derivative of that is essentially, okay, du, okay, the derivative of that is just equal to uh, dx, right? Because it's essentially one here, but then one times dx, that's just dx, because the derivative of x here is just equal to one, okay? Then uh, we're gonna substitute to our function, okay? We're gonna substitute to our function, so uh, to our integral rather, so that's integral five to eight, okay? Then uh, we'll use some terms here. So notice the denominator is u, okay? And our numerator is uh, our numerator is x, and x is equal to uh, u plus four, right? So x is equal to u plus four, so that's u plus four, right? So we can just plug that in, times du, okay? times du, since we still have that dx there, so we need to append du. Then uh, the, if we break down this function, this fraction here, this is the same as saying uh, one plus four over u, since u over u is equal to one, okay, du. Then if we integrate this, what we'll find is that, okay, integral of a constant, okay, integral of a constant, sorry, is, uh, if we take the integral of this, this is just u plus uh, something over u. One, uh, it's a fraction, so we have 4, okay, ln of u, because uh, the derivative 1 over u is ln of u, and we have a 4 there. That's a constant. We just factor it out, plus c, which will now evaluate from 5 to 8, okay? So we're going to get, okay, since we know what u is, okay, that's going to be equal to um, uh, x minus 4 plus 4 ln x minus 4 plus c 5 to 8. And if we simplify this, it will be 9.54517 minus 1, which would be equal to 8.54517. So that, those are three examples on how we do integration by substitution. And thank you for your attention. In the next video, we'll move on to integration by parts. Thank you.